the absolute flood of super extra gaming RGB memory kits available today, everyone must wonder if these heat sinks on the RAM sticks actually do anything in terms of temperature, and here I'm going to put it to the test. The best way to remove RAM heat sinks is with a hair dryer. A heat gun might melt some of the plastic elements present on these heat sinks, so be careful when you do it. After heating both sides of the RAM modules, the thermal pad should become soft enough to allow for movement between the memory chips and the metal heatsink, thus making the separation of the whole assembly easier. The testing is done with two identical ballistics tactical tracer RAM sticks, also the thermal reading will be done with an external temperature sensor attached to one of the memory chips on the PCB, as well as with the internal sensor pre-installed by the manufacturer. The temperature sensor is mounted to the chip to provide an external measurement unit, while the integrated sensor of these modules is used as a reference point. But enough filming around the RAM sticks, let's see the results. Consulting the crucial mode software, we can see that from the instance the system is powered on, there is a temperature difference between the two RAM sticks. When the system is idling, the temperature difference between heatsink installed and heatsink removed is barely 2 degrees Celsius. However, the way the temperature is rising on each model is different. The heatsink RAM stick is taking longer to heat up. And after some gaming and benchmarking on the system, I finally got the two RAM sticks to heat up and better show the temperature differences between the two. And what about that external temperature sensor? Well, it proved that the internal sensor of this RAM kit is accurate to 1 degree Celsius. In this photo, you can see the ambient temperature above the temperature of the memory chip. To keep it short, the maximum temperature that this RAM kit achieved in both the testing and gaming sessions for this video was 31.7 degrees, with a difference between the two on average of 2 degrees Celsius. Of course, it's not a big difference, however, it does show that, at least in this case, the heatsink does provide cooling for the RAM DIMMs. So what is the conclusion of this small test? Well, to put it straight, these heatsinks are actually cooling the RAM sticks, albeit in our case it's nothing more than 2 to 3 degrees Celsius. Into this market, market of RGB RAM kits, the heatsinks are often chosen for their outrageous designs and lights, with little regards of actual height or cooling performance. But the good news is that we have already established that at least the ballistics tactical tracers provide some degree of cooling to the chips. 